Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, this Vladimir Klitschko, Jean-Marc Mormec fight has to be one of the most lopsided fights in recent heavyweight championship history. I'm expecting a knockout. In fact, here's some things to consider. Mormec, 39 years old, has not KO'd a heavyweight. Right? You look at his last three fights and you're going to see not only has he not KO'd a heavyweight, but guys like Vinny Mataloni have gone the distance with him. In fact, his fight against Fresa Kendo, debatable whether he won the fight, he was awarded a unanimous decision. And of course, in that fight, two of the judges had him winning the fight by one round. His last fight against Timur Ibragamov, split decision. By the way, that last fight was in 2010. Mormek has not fought since then. So one wonders how this cruiserweight champion suddenly now has a chance at the heavyweight championship. It just doesn't make sense. Let me also point out too that Mormek's chin is ripe for the picking. He was knocked out not once, but twice at cruiserweight. David Hay was only one of the guys who stopped him. O'Neal Bell also stopped him. If you're going to beat Vladimir Klitschko, you're going to have to have some way to avoid Klitschko's jab, which is one of the best jabs in boxing. You know what? I'm not sure if Mormack has a way. Because he doesn't have quick feet. He doesn't move around the ring quickly. He doesn't have a lot of head movement, right? You can hit his head. He's, you know, he has a problem getting out of the way. Not only that, he doesn't fight low. And keep in mind, there's a huge height difference between these two of half a foot. Mormek is not even a six footer, right? But Mormek doesn't even use his lack of height to his advantage, right? He doesn't duck low like Joe Fraser to make it hard for his opponent to reach him. And so I think that this fight is a complete mismatch. I believe Vladimir Klitschko is going to come in and do what Vladimir Klitschko does, hide his right hand behind an excellent left jab. When he starts to feel comfortable, he'll start hooking off the jab. Then he's going to drop a straight right hand and Mormack, as he did against David Hay, as he did against O'Neill Bell, is going to take a nap. I do not see this fight going the distance. Rather, I see Vladimir Klitschko with a decisive victory over a guy who is very overmatched. Now, here again, don't be fooled by, you know, the fact that Marco Huck put up a spirited contest against Alexander Povetkin this weekend. This fight isn't that fight. Not only that, Vladimir Klitschko uses height a lot better than Alexander Povetkin, right? So if you're a smaller man and you're trying to beat Vladimir Klitschko and you don't have the reach to just trade with him from the outside and you actually have to get inside and get by that jab, let me just say you're in a lot of trouble. Also, I know David Hay went the distance with Vladimir Klitschko in his last fight. Don't be fooled by that because David Hay has much better foot speed than Mormek does, right? So Mormek is made to order for Vladimir Klitschko. If he were to win the fight, quite frankly, it would be, in my opinion, an upset that would probably be even greater than Buster Douglas beating Mike Tyson. I just don't see it happening. I think Vladimir Klitschko wins this one early by stoppage. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.